Hi, so I had an idea, a really bad idea, to make a PSP game on a PSP. What? What the fuck? Uh, normally, we just do it on a desktop and compile it in like C or C++, and there we go, we have an application, drop it on our PSP, and it works. Uh, so right here is my uh, PSP. It's running through Remote Joy Lite, which is how I'm capturing this. Um, and basically, I have a fresh install of Lure Player Plus, um, PSP Paint, PSP Filer, and PSP Write. Now, I would have actually download all, downloaded all of these, but they're on HTTPS website, and we don't have a HTTPS protocol yet, so yeah, that's the reason why that doesn't exist. I'm not sure how to, you know, even start this, uh, but what I want to do is like make a Flappy Bird port or something, something simple like that. Uh, maybe even with like a, a little bit of an intro or something too. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is use the PSP filer uh, And by using the PSP filer uh, We can go ahead and go to PSP game we're gonna go ahead and go into Wherever Our thing is crappy bird Take index.lua uh, And then remove the file and okay, close it, then we're going to exit out of this, and hey, PSP writes uh, up and running, we're going to delete this, call it now, in deck, uh, it's got to be all caps, doesn't it, index, uh, dot, Lua. Hit new. Here we go. Now we can actually start uh, to program in <laughs> the PSP itself. Give me one second, and our application should be loading up in a second here. Yes! Hello from PSP. <sighs> what have I done? I have to devise a way of like getting graphics on screen. Like, oh no, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> what have I done for myself? Alright, so I decided that pretty much it's useless to have a nice user experience, and instead of doing like some fancy menu UI, what I'm gonna uh, do here is just like all caps say like press um, X to start. So the next little bit of what I want to go ahead and do is implement obviously the game.lua file, uh, which is going to be game.lua. Um, however, what I want to basically do is create a gravity system uh, so that like the uh, bird can be whatever position, right? I want to draw the bird based on its position onto the screen, which is going to be like a circle, and then uh, basically have the bouncing mechanic. And that's what I'm basically going to be going ahead and doing.
And as you guys see, we have the very, very, very basics of what it takes to have a working sort of Flappy Bird clone. Of course, I need to basically uh, reduce the velocity that it gets when I hit X because it's jumping way too high uh, for what it is. The other thing that I would basically need would be to uh, have the um, little green things, the pipes, come across. So it would just be like uh, one or two rect rectangles that move across the screen in an infinite loop. Alright, so now uh, one of the things I want to do is to check that uh, if you were to die, so if your Y value were to go too low, uh, I just want to have a function that calls uh, some sort of die method which just sends you to like a blank screen that says you died and then uh, gives you the option press X to like uh, restart or press um, yeah press X to start or press uh, the circle to uh, exit. I might actually just make you sent, go be sent back to the uh, main screen uh, that's probably a lot easier to do so uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so now we have a working menu here, where it's X to start, O to quit, hit X to start, and your guy stays on the screen. If you fall below, it comes back to the screen, and once you hit O, it does quit the game. Now, the next thing that I want to be adding in is probably going to be the big uh, sort of obstacles that you have to go ahead and fly through. So they're going to be like green little rectangles uh, on the top and bottom of the screen uh, that just define like a little range of where uh, they are. Uh, they're going to move slowly to the left and your goal is to go straight through them. Uh, once you go on, uh, uh, if you do touch them, then you're dead. Uh, otherwise, uh, basically, you keep going through the game. That's basically the idea of what I have. So basically here's sort of a demo of what it looks like without uh, our uh, physics system in place to measure this. Basically one of the things that I'm considering doing is widening these pillars a little bit more in order to uh, really get that sort of feel, uh, which was what I was doing. Um, I noticed that there is a glitch at the bottom, uh, which should be filled, which will give you a lot more room to go through these two pillars. So I'm going to fix that real quick, and then I'm going to start working on the actual uh, physics system. So it would detect when the uh, blocks basically are intersecting. And that would basically be the completion of the game, because once physics works, everything should fall into place. Alright, so with the working pillar system, the last thing that I have to do is do collision checking for the player's inevitable death.
So this is uh, probably the final version uh, of my little application here on the PSP. All you gotta do is hit X to start. Now you're into this uh, floppy bird looking game. You gotta uh, stay between the things and try not to get hit. And that's pretty much the basics of the game. Uh, and then that's really all that it takes to get a game running on the PSP. Only about like four hours of work um, on the PSP itself. Now, of course, let's crash straight through it and we're gonna. Oh, well. Yeah, and let's crash straight through it and we're back to the main menu. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, I really appreciate it. Also comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.